I'm going to show you how to create copies of a Postgres database in one second, regardless of its size. And in this video, I'm going to use a 1024 gigabyte database. Let's see how we can do it. So right now I'm in my terminal and I'm connected to a Postgres database that's hosted on Neon using psql. And I can check the size of my database by running select pg database size. And this function takes the database name. So in my case, it's Neon DB. And this function actually returns the database size in bytes. So to make the number more readable, we can wrap this function with another function called pg size pretty, which will make the output pretty. So if we run this, you'll see that we have 1024 gigabytes, which is not little. Now this data was generated using pgbench, which is a benchmarking tool for Postgres that you can use to test the performance of your database. And if you used it before, well, we have the following tables pgbench accounts, pgbench branches, pgbench history, and pgbench tellers. Now, most of the data is actually in the pgbench accounts table. And, you know, if you're wondering, okay, how many rows are in this table? Well, if we were to do a typical select count star, it will take a really long time. And that's because the count function will actually scan the entire table and give us an exact number. Well, you know, since we're working with a large amount of data, We'd be happy with an approximation. We don't need the exact number of rows that are in the table. So what we can do is actually get this data from the PG class table. And this table contains metadata about your database and you know, like the different tables and indexes. And one piece of information is an approximation for how many rows are in a given table. Now, you know, what is the trade-off? Well, you know, it's way faster to get this data from the PG class table but the trade-off is it's not 100% accurate. So to get this information, we can do select rel tuples from pg class, where rel name, so the name of our table, equals pg bench accounts. And if we run this, we get a number in scientific notation that says that the pg bench accounts table that's a little over 7 billion rows. That's a lot of data. And if we want to, you know, create a copy of this data and we use a tool like PG Dump, you know, it's a tool to create backups of your database, it'll take a really long time. And even though there are tons of optimizations we can do when it comes to, you know, doing things in parallel, assigning more resources, optimizing things, it will still take a really long time. And what I'm about to show you will blow your mind because Postgres on Neon is actually branchable. So the same way, you know, you're working in a repo and you just do git checkout and you create a new branch and you can work on, you know, your changes in isolation. Well, you can do the same with Neon. Here's how you can do it. So in a new tab, I'll use the Neon CLI to create a new branch. And to do that, I can just do Neon branches create. So to create a branch and I'll give my branch a name. I'll call it test dash YouTube. By the way, you should subscribe and I'll run and we have a connection string we can use. Now, this connection string is actually different than this one that we're using. And if we just copy this connection string and we do psql and use it, we're connected. And if we actually copy the same query we use to check the size of our database, it's 1,024 gigabytes. And if we check, okay, well, you know, like how many rows are in that PG bench accounts table? Still the same. And if we do, you know, backslash DT, we still have the same four tables. What's happening? Well, this is actually, you know, this branch copies everything from the parent. And in this case, the parent is this other branch. So we have all of the data, all of the rules, all of the extensions, everything on this branch. And the cool thing is any changes made to this branch doesn't affect the parent. So for example, let's say we want to drop the table uh, that has, you know, 7 billion rows. Well, uh, we can just, you know, do drop table and, you know, like PG bench underscore accounts and just run it drop table, we now have three tables. If we go back to the other one, we run it again, 
we have the four tables. So changes made to a branch do in fact the parent. And this is great because you know now you have a copy that contains the schema and data. You can use this, well, you know, in development, if you want to code against real data, you can use this in, you know, preview environments. You know, if you create a preview environment for every pull request, now you can have a database for every single one of them. And at the same time, you can use this for testing. So if you have a test suite, you can create a branch at the first, you know, like at the start of a test run and then delete it after. It just works. And the cool thing is, is you know the reason this is fast like the magic is the fact that this actually uses copy on write so data isn't actually physically replicated and that's why it's so fast and you know from a billing perspective you might think like oh my god like this this is like and now i have like you know like two like 1024 gigabytes this is like a lot of storage well in reality if you know let's say you have a 100 gigabyte database and you create a branch and you don't do anything with that branch it's gonna cost nothing which is pretty freaking cool. And, you know, let's say you just add one extra gigabyte to that newly created branch. Well, you're basically going to be built for unique data across all branches. And yeah, like this basically makes Postgres part of, you know, the software development lifecycle. And that's it. If you want to try out branching yourself, you can sign up for free at neon.tech and you can create a free Postgres database, no credit card required, and you can try out the platform. Now, I'll leave links down below if you want a deeper dive in how branching works under the hood, Neon's architecture, and you kind of want to understand, okay, like, how is all of this magic possible? So you can check out these resources down below. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or reach out in the Neon Discord community. We'd love to hear from you. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.